Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to continue our Razor Archive series and talk about the Gillette Ranger Tech. So, some may call it the grandfather of the super speed. It looks very much like it. The Ranger Tech came out in 1941 and 1946, um, before and after World War II, and was kind of a transitional razor for Gillette. It featured the solid tech guard, it now had end caps. This is now kind of generation two, twist to open as I call it, but it still has this unnotched center bar because as you can see, they were sold with a pack of five Gillette blue blades in this little handsome kind of travel case for 98 cents. Um, so they were still showing advertisements of you placing the razor into the, um, the, the handle, safety razor handle, the head and not dispensing it with a dispenser quite yet. Um, there is a slight difference between these two razors. 1941 is going to feature patent numbers on package here on the smooth band by the twist open knob, and the 1946 is gonna have no writing on it. Also, 1941 is gonna have no end caps. So that's also something you can easily see between the two of them. So one of the problems you may come across with one of these razors without the end caps, the 41 variety, is that sometimes this assembly uh, of the kind of the head assembly, the, the T-bar assembly, can get separated and it, you know you see a gap starting to form here and that can lead to butterfly issues where it's opening and the doors get out of whack from each other because these two areas can kind of, left and right, can kind of separate from each other. That's why later on they started putting this separate piece of metal, this little end cap plate, to kind of try to hold the two together and keep them more symmetrical. Um, you know, being nickel plated, they're pretty durable. If you want to polish them or clean them, you know, best to use a very mild uh, metal polishing or ideally our polishing cloth that we have. But, um, you know, these razors are, are, are you know, pretty durable overall. I mean, sometimes you'll have a, maybe this, this little knob will come out of the handle and you'll have kind of a toggle action where you push up and pull down. That can also be easily fixed here with our tune-up service, but uh, overall pretty durable razor. These are very similar to the Super Speed in terms of their shaving performance. Um, they're also nickel plated, you know, pretty much the same razor. Um, collectability scale, uh, you know, where one is, you can find it anytime you go out in a thrift store and five, it belongs in a museum. I would say that a Tech Ranger is low on the totem pole, uh, one and a half maybe for just the razor, maybe a two, two and a half if you have the box, but still a very common razor to come across, not incredibly rare by any means. Um, you know, definitely an interesting piece to have in your collection if you wanted to have every Gillette razor out there, uh, but really most people would probably confuse this with a Super Speed. Cool razor, nonetheless, kind of an interesting period of time. World War II is happening. You know, the reason for this gap from 41 to 46 had everything to do with wartime uh, efforts of Gillette and moving more into razors for the war effort and also engine carburetors for fighter planes for the U.S. Army. But that is the Tech Ranger in a nutshell. If you've ever seen one, ever wondered about one. If you have one at home and you're wondering more about it, Ask us a question. Leave a comment on today's video. If you know something I didn't point out, leave a comment on today's video. Uh, regardless, your comment enters you into win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. We're happy to make these videos for you guys. Hope you're enjoying our Razor Archive series, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving.